<clears throat> so nearly 140 years ago, this whole area here was a was a war zone with uh, cavalry and Indians just covering these hills. Morning. Fifteen dollars unless you have a national park pass. She lived as a widow for 57 years before she finally died. Her mama was about her. Lord would have fallen with him here in the battle and might have been taken with you know, by somebody else. But he still had this one as a war souvenir. And so it's kept here. You know, she gave all of these photos and all of these things. These were actually his when she died. So she didn't need them anymore as a as mentor. She gave them all to the government to be displayed. Shows Reno's retreat. tells Reno, you will be supported. One of the Cheyenne in the village is unbroken. Women and children are to hide in the lab. Four ponies were brought into the camp in a herd, and the warriors mounted them and galloped away. I took my uh, cell phone in and got some stuff. I hope it comes out okay. I think we're coming up to the end, yeah. This is where they held out, uh, Reno and Benteen. A few graves over there. I just, I wish I had more time. But this gives you an, kind of an impression. Stone there on the uh, end of that path. Like I said, I'll have to come back. It's not that far from my house, it's only about 300 and some odd miles. And that's just four and a half.
half hours of driving, that's all. Several uh, soldiers trying to go down below there, down to the river to get some water because they were needing water. Because of their bravery when they did go down there, they got uh, Congressional Medals of Honor. Couple of gravestones down there. Wow. No matter what you think of Custer, his men paid paid the price for him for his uh, stupidity. I mean, you hire or you employ. Native American scouts for a reason. They, they're scouts. They give you advice. If they say they see many, many, many lodges and huge herds of uh, horses, <coughs> maybe you ought to open your damn ears and listen to them. This, uh, place where the road goes between the two hills. That's called Weir's Point, I think it is. And that's where they, some of Reno's men went to try to see if they could see where Custer was. And all they saw way off in the distance was smoke and dust from the uh, battle that was going on at uh, Last Stand Hill. Yeah. Definitely come back so I can take my time and go through this whole thing. It's kind of cool. So two scouts, uh, I think it was two scouts, rode up here and this is where they saw Custer's uh, battle going on way off in the distance. You can see the trees way up there, and that's uh, where the last stand hill is.
Mike, this is the Medicine Tail Coolie. And we're going in the direction that Custer was going when he came down into this uh, coulee. And it's, a coulee is, is like, it's kind of a low area uh, leading to the river. The little big horn is to the left. And uh, he attacked the village right at the center. We're basically near the center of the village. was on the other side of the river. Let's see what this sign says. As soldiers descended the Medicine Tail Coulee, the many Kanju and Cheyenne camps were on the uh, western bank. Archaeological evidence supports Indian testimony that initial fighting took place on the flats near the river to your left. Turn the camera that way. And cut bank directly ahead. The this is where the battle began. And then it was a running battle all the way up to Last Stand Hill uh, with all the uh, Many Kanju and Cheyenne warriors coming up after them out of the village and across the river. There were, they're still finding skeletal remains of uh, the soldiers in the riverbank. Uh, every once in a while, an arm or a leg will wash out of the riverbank. just really hard to imagine the death and confusion that was going on right now. They came up out of the coulee to my left and uh, chased the soldiers all the way up through here. And kind of like a running battle. left of this down on the little bighorn that I had a photo shoot with uh, Apache Warhorse uh, and his models, his Crow Indian models back in 2006. Just imagine all that was going on here during that battle. There's a bunch of white markers out in that field over there to my left, uh, indicating that uh, bodies were found over there. Here's uh, several markers right here, indicating where other marker, uh, where other soldiers had fallen. They put up uh, these kind of like tombstone markers where they found the bodies. There's three right there on that little ridge, 
and uh, three over there. There's several more to your left here. You can see them on oh, to to my left. You can see them. That's where bodies were found as they were fighting their way towards the the uh, last stand hill. There's a couple more to your right here, uh, just right on the road. There's another lone one right over here to your right, just past that bush. There's two more to my left here, just off the road. It's hard to imagine, just really hard to imagine. A whole bunch of them over here to the left on that little hill and <coughs> amongst the sagebrush. Several more right here to my left. Those are markers right there. You can see a whole bunch of them off in the distance on that hillside going up uh, towards the road. Remember, every one of these markers is where a body was found. This is a new road. I don't remember this being here before. A whole bunch of Markers to the right, you can't see them. Going down the coulee there, the gully. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them down there. To your, my right, a whole bunch of them right there. Right to your right end on the camera. You can almost get the feel of the, uh, the fighting. And that's Last Stand Hill right there. You can see the white markers on the uh, hillside there. Again, that's where Custer was killed. Some markers off to the right, below the road here. Or left, I mean, I'm sorry. Well, actually, left and right. All the lives wasted. Unbelievable. And there, there you can see the white markers on the uh, hillside. That's, that's Last Stand Hill. That's where the uh, final battle took place. And remember, this is all covered in sagebrush. And the Indians weren't riding on their horses around them. They were hiding behind the sagebrush, lodging uh, arrows into the, uh, the men and shooting into them as well. I think they had better guns. I better get out of the way. I think a crazy horse came up over this hill, if I remember correctly. Well, like I said, I'll come back. I can't believe people are talking on their stupid cell phones. Unbelievable. All right, that's going to be it from uh, Custer Battlefield. I'm heading home. A couple more uh, gravestones there. Wow. I, I, it's just hard to imagine the death. Uh, I wonder how many Indians died. There are no markers for them. Well, I think there's a national graveyard here too. That's why you see all the stones, or the tombstones. Those aren't the soldiers that died here, I don't think. 
Those are people who died in different wars. All right. Heading home. Next stop, Bozeman, and then I stop at home.